everyone welcome back to my channel power expertise and today i am back with another video in which we will going to see how we can generate barcode and qr code using power automate to collect user information and then store it into our dataverse contact record okay so let's get started first what you need to do you need to go to your contacts table okay and you need to create two or basically three different columns. Okay, you need to add. So first one I have already added, which is called as token added. So just create a column, which is of type yes, no choice column. Okay. This will, we will use like to whether to create uh, uh, the token uh, for uh, the new user or not okay so for that reason we are creating this uh, token added column and then a new column which we call as a bar code column and the type of this column will be image because you people might be aware like uh, for barcode even you scan in your phone pay or paytm you need to scan an image only okay so even for the uh, okay, so I think I've already created barcode. Let me check. Before. Yeah, barcode also has created with the type image. And let me see the QR code also. It's there. The QR code is not there. So it will create QR code you know, of type image. Basically, when we scan through our phones, we scan image only, right? For code, even for barcode also. So just save it. Once these three columns are created, we'll go back to contact. We go to forms. I'm starting this from the very scratch so that you will get an idea, okay, where to add what. So contacts table, as you can see in your uh, portal management, in your contact form whenever you create any new uh, user information so you you come to you know from the left navigation contacts under security and you click on new and then you come here okay so here only while creating a new information a new user information we will add one uh, our, a new section in which we will specify token added yes or no barcode and qr code okay so for that reason just come to your contacts table Come to form tab and here we are using contact uh, form as you can see in the top. Okay. Now we'll go to contact and we'll modify this form. One section I've already added called new section. You can rename it saying that you are section. Okay. So in this section, I've already added token added column. Now we'll go to at the top uh, navigation, select form field. From here, just select your both the columns, barcode as well as QR code. And let's get added here. Okay, because we have not uploaded any image, so it is showing us this record hasn't been created yet. To enable image upload, create this record. Okay, so we'll do it in this video only. Stay tuned with me till the end of this video to get, you know, an idea like how you can generate these codes. We'll save and publish this form. Once it is saved, just come back to your portal management contact form. Refresh it once to get all your changes here. See, it is now done. Now, we will, you know, uh, create a record using a Power Automate. We will not directly create from here. We will create it from our Power Automate. So, we'll go, come here. We'll call it. Ask for my sign in. Okay. I'm in my correct environment. I'll go to my flows or either create flow and we'll create an automated flow. Okay. Now trigger will be, uh, first I'll give a name. 
barcode and QR code generator. We'll select our uh, trigger, data was trigger. An item is created or modified. Click on create. Now we'll have to uh, select the trigger type. So I'll select modified whenever, you know, uh, this modified will work for the create as well. So whenever a new record has been created for a particular user, this flow will get trigger. Table will be contacts table. Scope will be organization level. Okay, now a next step is I'll show you first encoding. Okay, so with encoding, you can you know create create your uh, QR and barcode. So for for that first you need to uh, you know uh, sign up uh, into an accordion flow to use this feature to use this action you first need to uh, you know sign up into accordion website so we'll go here type accordion.com okay i've already created one for myself so i'll just show you how you can do it from the start just type encoding power automate this is the logo okay just go inside it and activate free tile activate free trial what it will do it, it's it's actually uh it will give you a free trial for 30 days okay and after that it will you know uh, you have to pay some cost so yeah so for the first time you need to give your name last name company name role ad email address and contact number just to you know a note here you need to specify the uh, company email address. You cannot use your personal email address. So if you don't have a company email address or you are just creating this for your learning purpose, so what you can uh, do, you can create a, a Dynamic 365 sales uh, you know, account, which is also free subscription, and you can use that it here, okay? Which will come uh, with the domain at your company name dot on Microsoft.com. So it will be something like the domain will be your company name that will be specified dot on microsoft.com. So that will be the domain that you will give here if you don't have your uh, official uh, email address. Okay. Once you are done, you will receive uh, uh, an API code, uh, key. Okay. That API key you need to use. I have already created for myself and I've stored it. Okay. You will receive that API key once you click on submit on the uh, you know screen itself and also you will receive an email on this email address okay so now I already have that so what I will do I will add the create barcode action once you add it you need to provide the connection name and you need to provide the API key which you have received on creating this free trial subscription okay so I'll just give a name as barcode API key, which I have in my sticky notes. Paste it. For the first time, for creating a connection, it will ask this one. Now, barcode type. What should be your barcode type? So let I'll select code 1 to 8. Okay. And then barcode data code. So actually it needs some data on which the code needs to be generated, right? So you need to give it that field or column name. Text. Now, next step, I'll again create a QR code from same record encoding. Action. I'll search for it. Create QR code. Okay. Now, as you have already provided connection in barcode while creating an action in barcode, so you can see in connection it will already come as a bar. Okay. Because name we have given as a barcode, right? So that name is coming here. Now, 
here what we will what we need to specify again the same thing on which column you want this qr code to be generated so this time i want first name and email address okay on these two column i need to generate my qr code format again i'll give png and we are done now what we have to do we have created the qr code as well as barcode now we have to feed it into our dataverse column okay we need to store it in in our contacts table so for that we need to choose a uh, action called update file or an image in dataverse so with this this one you need to select Table name we need to give, contacts table, row ID. So row ID is always a unique identifier of your uh, table. So in our case, it should be contacts. Okay, you can see here also unique identifier for the contact table. Column name. So one by one, we will upload a file. So one for barcode and one time for QR code. First time I'm doing for barcode. Content we will select from what, what we are getting from create barcode action. So I'll select create barcode action file content type. And then we are good. And same we can copy paste. Copy to clipboard. Go to your clipboard and upload. Okay. This time you can rename to follow, you know, we always give a meaningful name. So here we are doing for QR code. So just give that just to differentiate the two. Okay. Now here, same thing. Now only thing we need to change it as column name should be QR code. And here the file content should come from QR code. Okay, we are good. Now we'll save our flow. Now we'll test our Power Automate. Once it is saved, we'll come back here. Okay. We'll give first name as David. Matthew. Email ID. Let me check. Okay. So the email ID will give for Chasman. Okay, now we'll test our Power Automate flow. We'll come here in the contacts form and click on new. We'll give the username Chasman. Okay. Here you need to specify the email address, Jasmine. Okay. Now we'll say yes, we need this. And one thing I've missed it. So we don't want this Power Automate to run every time whenever a new entry has been made in the contacts table. So we need to specify when this Power Automate should trigger. So it will trigger only when I mod when I, you know. Select yes whenever we change this column value, then only trigger this flow, otherwise, don't trigger this flow. So, for that sake, what need what you need to go do, you just have to copy the logical name of this column. This we have done so many times. Let's go to columns, search for token, Let's click on these three dots, advanced tools, logical name, copy. That's it. So we'll select that column here and we'll save it. 
So this flow is independent of any other flow. So we'll just, you know, bifurcate it. So this will not, you know, keep on running whenever you create any entry in the contacts table. So we don't want that to happen. So just now flow is uh, ready to be executed. We'll test our flow by modifying any of the existing uh, user. So let's say we want to, you know, test Jasmine information. So here this Jasmine contact by saying it to yes. We want to send or we want to add a token to Jasmine contact. We'll save it. Ignore. Now this is saved. Go back to the run history of a flow and see. Now, so flow has been executed and this status is succeeded. We'll see. So what we can do. We go back here. We refresh this contact. I'll we'll check if the barcode is present or not. See, just to see what it is, what information it holds in the barcode. You remember we have been first name and last name in the barcode. Okay, so it is showing me first name and the last name. For QR code, we have given first name and email ID, but it will not show because uh, why? Uh, barcode simply comes with this, so it will not give you any information on which column you have created the barcode. So, yeah, you have been seeing this in many of the apps, like while using Paytm also, when you uh, scan the code at the, uh, at, at the, you know, outlet. So it will not show on which, you know, column this barcode has been created, but not for, uh, sorry, the QR code has been created, but for barcode, it will specify. Okay. So this is how you can create a uh, barcode as well as QR code and store it into your data was column. In my next video, I will cover like how you can do it similar thing and store it in your SharePoint column, okay? So if you find this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel. It gives me, you know, immense motivation to, you know, build a next video. So I want your support. Please subscribe to my channel and uh, help my channel to grow. Thank you till then. Bye-bye. Take care.